Hey, Star Wars fans and collectors. Thanks for tuning in of, uh, for another toy review unboxing. We finally got Mandalorian's N1 Starfighter, and I'll probably be like the 80th person to, to do a video review in the last couple of weeks of this thing. But um, yeah, I think most most collectors of Vintage Collection are pretty much on board with this set as soon as it was announced. Um, taking a couple more weeks for them to arrive down here in Australia, but better late than never. I'm really, really happy to have this one, finally. Looks good, the box art. I'm definitely going to keep this box nice and... It just looks good, definitely go well with the uh, display of the Razor Crest. And some images on the side. See they're sort of teasing R5D4 who is on the way. And there's Mando and Grogu playing with the engine. Some more images on the side of the box there. Nothing really on the bottom. The picture on the top. But yeah, love love the artwork, and uh, the, the back is a very slightly different picture to the front. So that's cool. This is the back, but uh, yeah, we're gonna cut the tape, do the uh, cutting of the tape ceremony. We'll get into this one and sort of see what's inside. We've got the, the little manual here, which we don't really... We'll work this out pretty easily, I think. Mando's going straight into a... Uh, straight into a star case, so... Let's get that one out of there. We'll take a look at it. It's sort of packed in a little cardboard tray, which is nice. Tissue paper, that's, that's really good. Nice unpunched card. It is absolutely fantastic. He looks good. Dark Saber, the spear, his vibro knife. Cards nice and clean. Love the picture on the front. VC two nine two. Some of the other figures that have come out recently as well. So I do have a star case here ready to go. So all nice and safe. Let's seal that up. And there is another layer of protective film over the top here. So that can, makes that nice and clear. Now that's going to go up on the wall with my other Mandalorian. So let's put that aside. Let's take a look at everything else that's in here. base which is very similar to the base for the Razor Crest so I'm glad they've sort of stuck with that that's really really nice and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unpack it get out of the box and then um, then we'll come back and piece it all together on the base of the stand So here we have the all the main parts of the ship and the stand. Um, the tray of all the little bits and pieces we'll get out in a moment. Uh, yeah, here's the uh, here's the base there. That looks good. Put that aside. Take a look at the uh, main sort of part of the ship. That looks good. Really liking some of the uh, weathering the detail of the yellow paint of the original N1. Cannons on the front there. Cockpit. It does open up like the uh, like the previous release of the N1. So every chance that it's slightly retooled. If not, they've 
just use the same sort of aesthetic for the design. Some cool little storage parts in there for, for Mando's jetpack and I believe his other bits and pieces. Let's look at the cockpit there and that will, I believe that will lift off. Maybe not. Thought that may have lifted out like uh, some, some of the X-Wings have in the past. It may, it, it, it may still, it's just a little bit tight right now. There's the underside, obviously the little socket there for the uh, thing, which is probably how I'm going to display it. I think it looks really good. All right, let's get these parts. No, and look at the wings. <laughs> All right, so got two wings. Uh, I do believe we get one panel to cover either side. It's again nice detailing on that. I like the sort of difference in the, the sort of silver in the front there, which is from the classic ship. Had the silver front, and then this is the sort of worn back, buffed version. So they're nice. Even in the engines there, you've got the sort of the blue lights for the for the thruster. And here we've got the uh, the tail piece, sort of stripped back, which is nice. All right, let's start opening these bags. All right, so there's the uh, obviously the back of the wings. Nice sort of weathering on there, the sort of engine burn that looks good. What have we got here? Alright, so there's one of the uh, patches for the wings. And there is the, uh, the piece, that last missing piece that they need. Which is the nice little nod to um, A New Hope. Alright, so we have this little engine element by the looks of it, or gun firing mechanism. Work out exactly where that goes shortly. Same one there. Another part of the, uh, of the stand, the other stand. And there is the dome. It is Grogu and the hot rod engine, which will sort of clip onto the front. Put that together in a moment. Here's Grogu having a great time. <laughs> That's super cute, love him. Parts for the engines. And these should be the last two bits of the stand. So what you do have is a flat base stand as well. So I assume it's the right way. So that will sort of pop in there. No, I could do it the other way, I think. There we go. So that sits in there. So you can just have it sort of sitting flat on the table and have it displayed in that. So that's, that's really cool too, if you're doing some photography. So that's nice. Love those options. All right, so let's construct. All right. So it fits in there nicely. Side. Maybe I should have the instruction. <laughs> Instructions overrated. Now 
No, that's in the back. Silly. So there's that piece that's that goes in there. That's that little Easter egg piece we spoke about before, and you can see it through the uh, through the gap there. So that's really cool. I like that. That looks nice. Now these are the separate pieces there. So you can have like a seated thing with a peg for Grogu. And this is for the Builder Droid head. Obviously that will sort of punch in there a little bit better. There we go. Just got to get that thing around the right way. When we get R5-D4, if you've got an existing version of R5-D4, I think most of the recent ones in the recent years, the vintage collection one was a Builder Droid, so. But I'm going to put in the chair for your little Grogu. And get it in there nice and straight. There we go. And we'll put the dome on. Yeah, that looks cool. All right, now, these shouldn't be determined to any particular side. Another panel, put on that side. go on the bottom of the wings think that way console box yep that way so just sort of plug it into the bottom and then we have this part here for the engine work out exactly how that lines up trying <laughs> The hot rod engine, so it's pushed in there in the front. That's in there nice and nice and tight. That's not going anywhere. That looks good. So there we have it. I will pick up a spare Mandalorian off my shelf. Put Grogu on the peg. Have it. That is absolutely awesome. I love this thing. It is really, really nice. Feels good in the hands. Looks good too. Paint deco on it is really nice. Looking forward to getting Mando in there. It's obviously you can slide that forward but yeah it's easier to put him in that way yeah just this is just awesome i'm so so excited to be able to display this thing pop it on the stand here Go. I'll 
bring the camera back down we'll take a look at it all right here we are back down to earth got him on the got it on the display stand there she's just awesome get some great angles for display she's just absolutely wonderful honestly i'd love this thing this is absolutely fantastic yeah love the stand Loving the details on it. Yeah, definitely a nice, nice counterpart to go with the Razor Crest. Just, it, it's so aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> love this. Love this design. You know, I love the original N ones with the yellow. Like, hats off to Doug Chang for that design. Golly, has it lasted a long time? And it's, uh, you know, to have it back in this form in Mandalorian, it's just so cool to see. All right, folks, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for tuning and tuning in and joining me for this unboxing. It's been a lot of fun. Um, hope you've enjoyed hanging out while I've been doing it. We'll see you again for another, another video real soon. Until then, may the force be with you always.